Hey Donnie, you're looking comfy there with your paper. Yeah, I'm all comfy now. I uh, went out and uh, cleaned up Ruby and uh, did just a little work on Sapphire this morning. So things all ready to go. Thank you, I appreciate it. We're out of here. We're running a little late again. That's all right, sweet pea. I sure do love you. Love you too. Kiss, kiss. There's Ruby. Good morning, Ruby. Don and I are meeting a friend for lunch in Apex, and we're going to go straight from there to pick Johnny up from school. So we'll probably do Sapphire on that run this afternoon. It's getting darker and darker out. Hey, buddy. Thanks for doing that one last chore for me. You're welcome. So one of the classes Johnny has right now is speech and debate, and he has been tasked with learning a speech that Ronald Reagan gave. Um, it, he was supposed to give the State of the Union one year, and, um, what year was this, Johnny? 1986. Yeah. That's the year I graduated from high school. He was supposed to be giving the State of the Union speech, and the, uh, Space Shuttle's Challenger, uh, as we all know, uh, blew up on, uh, the launch. And instead, he came out and gave a speech, um... Obviously, we're we're all mourning for the Challenger uh, crew. So Johnny is working very diligently to learn uh, President Reagan's speech, but it's it's hard. It's not it's not short, and uh, it's full of some big words and people's names, and it's he's having to work it. It's very misty today, and it's really it makes a really cool landscape. Good day, Johnny. Thank you, I think uh, me and Mr. Don will be here in Sapphire this afternoon. Okay. Bye. Bye. I just saw one of the Tesla Mobile service vans cross in front of me. Yep, over here on Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard in downtown Raleigh. Way cool. Looks like you're getting your padding off your wheel, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna don't bust. need that old pad no more. Yeah, I I'm sure I'll skin it up, but uh, I've pretty much given up on riding backwards for now. So um, I'm just trying to, you know, um, ride forwards. I'm confident that I won't crash it too much. Good. Tux is over here in his spot, but let me not go in the house without saying hi to him. Oh, you don't have to get up. I can pet you right there. Hi. Oh, big stretches. Big stretches. Ow. Whew, we made it. We're in the car. I tell you, this car loading up, uh, Marianne, she's wonderful, but she's got a lot of issues related to getting in a car you know cameras purses phones right hand left hand door knobs uh, uh seat belt jewelry conflict uh you know but nonetheless we're good <laughs> we're on our way first off i was a little late getting off the couch to be where we're supposed to be on time because i was doing this morning's editing so I can actually go to sleep tonight. It's really great if I can get half the day done in the middle by the middle of the day. Although I have found that sometimes at night then I 
don't get started as early as normal and I still finish at the same time, but I digress. So I went to get in the car. Don's down cleaning the right front wheel. So he's right there by the passenger door. And of course the car won't open for me because A, I forgot my phone in the house. B, I haven't tried to put the key card up to the pillar. Don tells me we need to check to see if that even works on the passenger side. And so Don being down by the wheel with his phone, that's not close enough for the car. So he stands up and he comes and he opens the door so I can get in because my hands are dreadfully full as per normal. I have extra gifts that I'm taking with us today and stuff. So then I go to the back to open the trunk and you'll love this. I push the little button and I just watch it do nothing. I got bit by that five minutes before her. I pushed the button on the trunk on the model on Sapphire and I stepped back waiting for it to go up and I realized oh I gotta lift it I gotta lift it and then when I lifted it like you really gotta lift it like it's heavy like it oh. doesn't just go up it just I mean it's it's not very springy it's not light it's not I don't consider it heavy but yes it does it won't go up accidentally so I get in the car with the seatbelt on and I realize I don't have my phone. I think we've established in prior videos that me leaving mine or Johnny's phone in the house happens several times a week and either Johnny or I have to run back in for one or the other of them. Well, I'm having a little trouble with my rings on my hand, sticking my hand down in between here without scratching this up trying to fasten and unfasten the seat belt and as you'll see it's not because I'm touching anything it's just it's really close it's really close to the console so once I've gotten myself in I sure don't want to have to go get myself out and it doesn't matter whether it's the left hand side or the right hand side I guess if you don't have rings you just plop your hand down there and you don't think twice about it but I was trying to be careful so it was kind of a thing getting the seat belt back off going into the house grabbing my phone which had by the way fallen down between the couch and my end table which is why I didn't leave with it because it was sort of like out of sight and then I get back in the car and I get reseat belted up and finally finally we are on our way yes. <laughs> Whew. You know, honestly, if you are not a Model X driver, you will not probably have half of these complaints about getting in your Model 3 and driving. It's just because Ruby has us spoiled. I'm not complaining. I, I'm cool. I like it. I'm, I'm getting very close to adapted to the Model 3. Um, I might be complaining a little bit. <laughs> it's, to, it's to Don's advantage that I complain because otherwise... I might be stealing Sapphire, right? This way, I'm just over in Ruby minding my own business and he's got access to Sapphire most of the time with no worries. Because trust me, if it's something that I like, I take it over. I don't think I'm gonna be taking Sapphire over. We'll see after I drive it back and forth to school a couple of times. So we are um, meeting our friend Janet for lunch. Um, those of you that have watched videos for a while um, will might remember that she um, works over at Horse and Buddy, which is a therapeutic, therapeutic um, horse riding for um, children with special needs. And uh, she, she runs that and does an awesome job with, with it. Um, I had bought a Bob Timberlake picture for her at Guardian Angel Thrift Apex at a real steal of a deal a few weeks ago and we're just getting the picture to her today and in the house Don said are we taking Ruby or Sapphire and I said Sapphire and he said well will that picture frame fit and I said sure it will and Don went out and he said it fit no problem so I'll take a picture before we pull it out of the yeah. back but it's loaded up fine it's a big picture yeah it's not it's a not size small. it's a sizable picture yeah. it's at least three feet by two feet or three by three or four by three it's big i don't know we didn't measure it it's but it's the kind of picture you hang above your couch yeah, it's, it's so big it's a living room picture that's right exactly yeah so we're gonna enjoy some um, mexican food we're headed over to tacos mexico in apex and then we'll be going to pick johnny up at school afterwards so the good thing about the sapphire's trunk is plenty big for a flat screen so I can pick me up like maybe a 65 inch flat screen put in there. I think no problem. I think we might have to test that out here pretty soon. I've been trying to tell him to get him a new TV for the last two Christmases in a row. Please, can I go buy you a TV? Yeah, I guess he's gonna have to get it for himself. Although I do pretty good with picking out electronics. Well, Janet said this place was awesome and popular with the locals and that it is certainly true. Oh 
Oh my goodness, this sure does look good. So what did you get, Nani? Uh, it's a quesadilla, chicken fajita quesadilla. Wow, that looks good. <laughs> I was a good girl at a restaurant, but I have to have a video of Jed in the back of the bottle. Three, wee! It's beautiful and comfy. So one of our viewers was kind enough to tell me how to turn on round trip in trip information. So if you click on the nav screen, and you get up the bar here on the left, you click on the little gear icon, and there's the stuff that I couldn't find the other day. Ah. Couldn't find it to save my life. This screen looks a lot like apps and then navigation on the X. It's basically the same stuff. So I turned on avoid tolls because Don's loathe to pay for toll money. And I turned on always show um, estimated round trip energy. And um, the other stuff was already on and I left this at 10 minutes. Thank you. Sapphire says it's 94 degrees out there. Phew. Yeah, it's hot. it's hot. Sorry that you were standing in the heat for a few minutes. It's okay. Well, it's not a good time to be coming into Fuquay on 401 because apparently there's road work up ahead and you can't go straight on Main Street through town, the new part of Main Street. Well, they're making everybody make the left. Yeah, part. we're having to go on 55 and then we'll have to cut over on Honeycutt. That is just... What in the world are they doing? And this is a Wake County Sheriff. This isn't Fuquay Police either. Somebody hit a light pole? Johnny so. said he could tell that they were doing utility pole stuff, whether it's upgrades or as a result of some sort of accident, we don't know. So this stoplight here on 55 is out and traffic to the right is backed up. Oh God, it's, I've never seen it backed up there before. So that's just, so we're, we, we have a way to get to our house where we can keep moving straight. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Yeah. Trying to go that way at this point is not a good idea. Yeah, I mean, look at the navigation. It's all red. <laughs> yeah, it's all red. <laughs> I found this cool guy crawling up the door frame on our door. I believe it's a leaf bug though, I'm not sure. I finally figured out what it was you were doing. Are you doing what I think you're doing? Already did it. Installed your new camper. I know. I told Don I was going to vacuum in to go find something to do in the garage for 15 minutes. Exactly. So probably, huh? Did exactly what you told me to do. Except Back. I probably vacuumed for more like 30 minutes because I did a really good job. So it's really, it's installed? Yeah. Were you just going to leave it for me to find tomorrow morning? Or tonight. Or tonight if I went back out? Oh wow, way cool. Way cool. And just grab the And the other mount is still over here. Yeah, just because this is the you know, we can take it down. Right. Um we can um we what we might want to do, uh once you check your alignment and you you know you go out on your road trip somewhere and you get it set just the way you want it. Right. Then what we ought to do is take um like a a white magic marker or, or, or a silver you know right and draw mark on the barrel so i can line the barrel it up. to the other barrel and then you can line yeah, it up yeah 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 i got gotcha. you so get you one of those you know maybe you got i have polish or something. i have a silver um sharpie yeah silver sharpie something like that that you can draw a reasonable a thin crystal, line one too line. i do have a thin and line you can one do it and then you can just slide it because you just slide it out and take it in the house and you do a usb cable to offload the stuff. Yeah, just to be clear for new people to the channel, Don had previously done all of the work himself to right. to hook up the wa to hide the wire. So this was as easy as unplugging one mount and plugging in another mount right. and putting the adhesive on the window. That's so right. um, yeah. And I had a button over here before that sometimes people would ask about that went to the old DDPA IM6 Plus and uh, it had a little orange on it. This is the new button, totally, uh, totally black here. So I told Don while he's still here, I want to understand how I get it out. So he just said to grab it over here. Yep, it's a little tight. And just pull hard. Pull. Yeah, it's kind of tight. It's snug. Yeah, you're doing good. Mm. Okay, I got it. 
And the end of this is uh, trying to see if it's in focus here. Yeah, so the end of it has, um, I kind of likened it to uh, ear, uh, ear, earphones jack going into the side of my computer, that little round hole. So you can basically stick it in there any way you want to. You don't have to put it in. Although that comes back to Don saying, you know, let's put a mark in there so that we can line it up. And then uh, when you take it in the house, the little uh, micro USB, you can just plug that into the computer. Because this one has um, solid state. 32 gig. 32 gig. There's no SD card, no micro SD card in this. So here I go. I'm uh, sticking it back in the little barrel. Yeah, we'll get used to it. And pushing it, and I hear it click. That was a little, little easier. Pie. Ding, ding, pie. Ding, ding, pie. And it's in English. Right. What now, a novel concept. That's right. <laughs> now, if you rotate it, you'll see a little red dot. I see a dot right here. The red dot. So that is the exactly, the no. lens is exactly on the other side. Right, so, so I suspect it's up a little high. too high. Right. That's probably more like straightforward right there. Yeah, something like that. Huh. And then I can check in the phone app, the alignment, yeah, and like you said... Maybe put a little mark somewhere with in silver so I can see when it lines up the That's way right. that it's normally good for this car. Right. Okay. Way cool. I may have to go play Pokemon Go and test it out in a little while. <laughs> so I decided to take Ruby for a ride and get a little bit of uh, footage to include in today's video. I also realized uh, probably recording there in the garage in the low light uh things were probably a little blurry so I wanted to make sure um, I could get some video of where everything could be seen well. So I'm going to pull it out again mostly because I want to make sure that um, I make it where you guys can actually see the bottom here. So you can see the circular hole where it plugs in up there on the mount and also the uh, micro USB for uh, hooking it up to the computer. So, the little red light that's opposite the camera, you cannot see it um, when it's not plugged in, when it's not uh, hot. That was unexpected, but uh, I've got it up there, and that little red light, which is on the right side there, I hope it's showing up, you can, um, it's opposite the camera for alignment purposes. So I have it lined up where I want it now, and I'm going to go ahead and make a um, mark so that I can line it up. Although I have also sort of made a visual of where the dot is. I've driven Main Street. Um, I've marked uh, with the Sharpie pen the silver on the black um, body where I think I need it to be to be able to put the camera back in there and line things up. The app works the same on the Mini 3 as it does on the um, M6 Plus, so no learning curve there. I don't normally download video or pictures using the app, only occasionally. Mostly I just use the app to verify that the um, dash cam is recording and I like the alignment. Um, usually if I want to really pull some footage, uh, especially the length of the footage I pull, I take it in the house. However, if you were in an accident and you needed to show the police officer right then and there what had happened, um, you should be able to pull that off on your phone so that you can see it uh, sooner than, than later. So far, I'm pleased though. Well, I do think I'm going to like it. I probably would have told Don to move it over just a smidge farther, but I'm thinking where he put it is because he thought I could reach it since I've got to actually pull on it a little bit harder than the magnet mount. Um, I'm going to go inside and hook it up to the computer and look at the footage a little bit more in there. So I'm back at home now. And I have the uh, DDPAI Mini 3 um, hooked up to Don's Chromebook uh, using a micro USB um, cable. And it powered on and it brought up the file system. The file system looks just like it did for the uh, DDPAI M6 Plus that I'm used to. Except that in that one I would have to take the SD card out and put it in a little card adapter uh, to look at it. Whereas this one I'm just getting the... Um, I'm just getting the uh, photos, you know, all directly off of the internal storage of this dash cam. So under the USB uh, drive under DSIM, you'll see video and then you'll see photo um, 
thumb and GPS. Don was a little surprised to see GPS files created because he didn't think this um, camera had uh, GPS files, but it, it does. Um, they're probably not meaningful except for when you're using the phone app uh, to look at the, you know, um, data off the dash cam directly. But at any point for me as a creator at night for my YouTube videos for, for you guys, I would typically go into the video folder and I would scroll for a thumbnail that kind of told me where I was. And um, this one here looks interesting to me. Uh, it's one of from Main Street Fuquay's. That's basically where I'm back from and the environmental park and uh, some of these other other shots. Uh, you know, of course, when I got home, I guess I'm in the I'm in the garage. So if I want to, you know, obviously, if I want to include one of these in the video, I would just, uh, in my case, I would drag it over to uh, Google Drive and then bring it into, into Wii Video. But yeah, I've got uh, all these files out here from my uh, trip to town just a few minutes ago. I'll click on one of them and you can see um, what comes up. So if I make it full screen, get rid of the little... Um, bar at the bottom. Right now we have turned on the date and time and it also puts the little camera icon over here. I suspect we can turn that off. Um, I need to go review the app um, and see what the options are because normally I don't record with uh, with that. Now I did the alignment. You can see just a little bit of uh, Ruby's um, hood and also just a little bit of um, the top of the dash, uh, the mark, the um, carbon fiber that I see sometimes. But anyway, you can tell that I'm in Ruby because the, the, the hood is red.